In this lecture, we're going to learn about key binding with Magic Leap. Now, let's create a scene in Unity and we're going to make it show so that we can control the um, device's peripherals. All right, inside of Unity, by the way, I'm just keeping a small window in Unity because there's not much going on in Unity. All right, having um, said that, I'm going to go to the Unity main menu and import the Magic Leap package um, that Magic Leap created. If you don't already have installed it, go to the Magic Leap package manager and select the Magic Leap Unity package. This one right there. As you can see, it's installed. Otherwise, just click right here. There's going to be a download sign. All right. Once you do that, it goes in the Magic Leap folder under your home and uh, just import it just like you import any package with Unity. Click on Game Object. I'm sorry, Assets. And then Import Package, Custom Package. I'm assuming that in the future, you will have the package right there. But anyway, let's go ahead, custom package and locate that package. Uh, as you can see, I already have it open right there, magic leap 0.11.unity package. Your version number might probably be different and that's totally fine um, as long as you are able to import it. So this may take a while, just import everything. There's a lot of things that we don't need, but that's okay, um, just to make sure it works. Don't worry about the details for now. Um, we want to get through as much ground as possible first. All right. So um, meanwhile, what I want you to do is to also load the simulator. OK, so make sure you do that. And uh, once you're done, you can actually close the package manager. We don't need that anymore. So let me just close that. And uh, whenever you open the uh, simulator, you should also have the um, um, this um, simulator mode window that appears. So don't forget to click on start the simulator here. And this uh, window is very important for this specific lecture. So I'm just going to leave it up top so that you guys can see what we're doing. All right. So let's see. Unity is uh, still importing. All right. So let's add a virtual room. Inside of the simulator, let's go ahead and click on the uh, plus for the room here and let's locate a room. I have my room one. I just use this one. All right. If you don't uh, have a room, go back to the video lectures from the uh, earlier and uh, you'll, uh, you'll find a way how to uh, create your rooms or use the ones that come with the um, SDK. All right. So I do have the room. Um, the next step is to um, add stuff from the Unity package. So right here in Unity, I see the Magic Leap folder that we just imported and uh, just open the three um, examples, leaves and script. All right. So uh, what you need to do at this point is to click on prefabs. And if you do that, you'll see a bunch of prefabs that are already created for you. And um, also click on scenes. And here you have a few scenes that are created. And the one we're interested with right now is the controller scene. Why? Because the controller is obviously um, the scene that has the scripts to control the device's peripherals. So let's double click on the controller to open it. All right. Now that it's open, you should see two menu items, the content one and the rendering. We're interested with the controller example game object here. So click on it and look at the inspector. OK, so you see the controller example script. It's a C sharp script. If you double click on it, you will open it with the Visual Studio Editor or any other um, editors that you have. OK, so what's great about here is that the Magic Leap team already took care of doing all the logic to handle inputs. And I want you to press Ctrl F or Command F to look for uh, the word down. Why? So that you can see the key down events. And if you keep going, you're going to find them all. Um, that, that's the one we want here on button down. All right. That's the key here. Why? Because we see that on button down, it's checking if the button that was down is the bumper. And if it's the bumper, it's triggering the haptic feedback on the actual physical device. Now we don't have a physical device we're in the simulator, so we will not feel the haptic vibration, but that's fine. What we're going to do is actually 
write some code here so that we trigger something whenever the bumper gets pressed. So to do, um, and uh, what we can do here is instantiate an object. So let's go ahead and create the logic to instantiate an object. I'm going to go all the way up of that file and create a new game object. So I'm going to make it public so that we can change it from Unity. Uh, right after this end region, I'm just going to do public game object and I'm going to call it ball, B-A-L-L, -L, okay, just a ball. And let's go ahead and that's, that's going to be our prefab here, our prefab that we will instantiate. All right, so let's go back to the bumper. So wherever we have the to-do. And let's go ahead and instantiate this prefab. Game object, new ball, because I'm, I'm doing a, an instantiation from the prefab, is equal to the instantiate function. And um, the first parameter is the original prefab, which is obviously the ball. The second parameter is the um, transform position. So um, let's go ahead and add the, uh, the, let's use the camera so that we instantiate the object right in front of the camera. So that would be camera.main.transform.position. And by the way, if I do that, that's okay, but we won't be able to see it really well because we instantiate this right on top of the camera. We want to instantiate this in front of the camera. So let's add one or two units in front of that. How do you do this? Well, you just say it's just vector addition here plus camera dot main dot um, transform. And to be able to get um, in the vector in front of you, for those of you that use Unity before, it's dot forward. There we go. And uh, forward is only one unit, so I'm going to do times two so that it's two units in front of you. If you want more units, if you want five units, then do times five, obviously. And then we want the rotation. So I'm going to use, um, trans uh, uh, I'm going to use actually just the rotation of the camera we, or, or this, this actual object, just transform dot rotation. All right, and put a semicolon at the end and we have the new ball instantiated. And uh, that will do for now. So just save that, go back to Unity and uh, it's going to compile right here. As you can see, it's compiling. And um, if you have any errors, you would see it in the console. If you see an error, just go back and fix it. Um, it's still thinking, but it's about to be done. Let's see. All right, done, no error, so far so good. Now we want to run this in the simulator. But before we do that, we need to assign an object. So how do we do this? Well. You guys see the ball here, it says known, so just click on uh, the uh, inset and let's go to the assets and let's select an asset. I'm going to select um, the Earth. Let's go ahead and select this Earth, Deep Space Explorer Planet. All right, or just Earth, I guess this will do. Double click there and here is the Earth. Now we won't see it yet, just yet, we need to instantiate it. Now save this as a new scene, press Command Shift S or Control Shift S and I'm going to save it inside of the assets. And I'm going to call this uh, scene, um, just um, uh, instantiate objects or spawn objects. Okay, it's the same, different terminology, but it means about the same thing. All right. Now, if you want to run this, make sure you click on Magic Clip, enable zero iteration. Um, I usually, right now I'm using a very early beta version and uh, that usually gives me some issues. So I usually do that multiple times. All right, and um, right now it's uh, asking for something. I really don't know what that is. Um, maybe it's missing the SDK, let's see. So you need file, build settings. And I see that I'm using PC, Mac and Linux. It's not on LuminOS, that's why. So click on LuminOS and select the SDK path. Usually it remembers that, but I create a new project and it doesn't. So um, good thing I saw that this was missing. And my SDK is under the Magic Clip ML SDK folder, version 0. Point something. There we go. Choose. All right. And uh, switch platform. Okay. Importing the settings and the assets. Okay. Now let's close the build settings and click back on Magic Clip and then enable zero iteration. Okay. Restart Unity. 
and that's why I saved the scene earlier because we need to have that okay all right and uh, meanwhile what we need to do is the cherry on the cake which is create the bindings so go to the magic leap remote and we need to create the bindings and the bindings are created on the magic leap remote simulator mode right there under peripheral started you have three dots here just click there and click on edit peripheral binding now i repeat this is the most important step right there creating the bindings as of today in the version that we're using which is uh, march 2018 the bindings are not automatically made for you you have to do it yourself so edit peripheral bindings and i'm going to only map the bumper one okay the, so i'm going to double click on the unmapped and add the key b i repeat b like baby or bob all right our bumper here we go and now the mapping is done i can just close that so at this point feel free to add more um, button mappings or bindings but that's enough for me for now and i'm going to play the game now so back to unity i'm going to press play right now i can go once this is loaded i can go back to the eye view here and i can move things around as you can see so far so good and uh, i'm going to look towards that screen and i'm going to press the b button b for the bumper and check this out here we go we have the earth here so now i can move and the earth is supposed to stay there and it does so if i press b again it's going to instantiate another earth let's see there we go so now you can press b multiple times and you're going to end up with lots of herbs okay so the binding is actually working excellent now what would be great is to also add physics and we're going to do this in the next lecture so if you learned something in this lecture and if uh, you got something out of this please press the like button also please leave a comment just to say thank you that would be enough and if you like this type of videos what i want you to do is uh, subscribe because there's plenty of uh, great content that's coming your way